Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the forecast for May 2023 for each life path number. Now, if you're interested in sort of an understanding of the collective energy for May, as well as your own personal month forecast for May, which will include the moon, uh, the full and the new moon, which is also includes the eclipse that's coming up in May, then make sure to check out your personal month forecast, which will be coming uh, for the month of May towards the end of April. So keep an eye out for that. Know that the calculations for the personal months are different to the life path energy. So um, make sure that you uh, do your calculation before you listen to that. If you missed your personal month forecast for April, those are up. So make sure you have a listen because it also includes eclipse energy that we're going to be working with for the next three to six months. So that's important. Okay, so this of course is a general forecast. If you would like a personalized forecast or a personal numerology reading, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the life path numbers for May 2023. Life path number five. So I pulled an animal spirit message for May for you all and owl energy came out. So there is the potential this month that some big news could come to light. Um, you might see sort of secrets come to the surface and get um, sort of unveiled this month. There's something here that needs your attention. <clears throat> and Owl is trying to help you to focus on whatever that is. So something that maybe has felt cloudy or that there's been illusion around, uh, this energy is going to help you to, to sort of pierce through that and see things much more clearly. Now, what you choose to do with that clarity is entirely up to you, right? But it's sort of that energy of <clears throat> once you see it, you can't unsee it. An owl is sort of bringing it to your attention. Um, there is something probably this month that is going to require um, quite a bit of your focus and attention. So again, I feel like this energy is kind of sort of going to sort of bring that to light or unveil whatever it is that you've been sort of knowing is you know, in the distance, but you can't quite put your finger on it. I feel like that's going to come in for you this month and you're going to get a sort of a greater uh, indication of what that is. There's also this potential when we see owl energy of some kind of prophecy, some kind of prophetic dream or um, prophetic insight that could come in. Now, of course, not for everyone, potentially, this is a general reading, but with owl energy coming through, there is something potentially where it can come in like a lightning bolt and, you know, you're going to be asked to make a move on it or do something. Um, and so, of course, follow your intuition. But if something comes in for you and it comes in real strong, that's probably something you need to take, you know, focus your energy on and take some kind of initiative with uh, because there's the potential for it to be very successful or to turn out in a very powerful way. So pay attention to that. Now for you all for the month of May, you are working with the energy of the eight. So again, this can bring in sort of a focus on the material plane. So money, resources, buying or selling a home, legal matters, um, anything to do with signing contracts, be very aware of the contracts that you're putting your name to, especially if it's something where you're committing to something long-term. Uh, just make sure that whatever it is that you're putting your name to is something that you want to be a, uh, associated with. You want to be a part of it, especially for a period of time. Uh, legal matters could come to a close this month or they could be initiated this month. So just kind of be aware of that. Um, take your time when it comes to working uh, on how it is that you want to sort of handle whatever that is. But that can also include marriages, adoptions, um, divorces, whatever, sort of coming to a close or being initiated this month under this energy. Now, there can also be power plays uh, that come in this month. And so again, having to sort of stand your ground, claim your power back, uh, not give your power away too easily. Be mindful of situations where someone may be trying to manipulate the situation or have a, a strong influence over you. Um, so just be really aware of your, um, your space and your dealings this month, because not saying that that's going to come in, but under eight energy, 
it's it can bring about those power plays. So again, it sort of asks us to be more assertive in our own space, right? So that we're owning that space and not giving our power away. You may see things resurface this month for you all, um, or again, bring clarity to a situation from the past where maybe there were there was some kind of power play or some kind of injustice. And this month, you can find ways to sort of bring justice to that situation. Uh, let's see, this is also a great energy for, again, sort of the channels being sort of wide open to a higher realm, to your spirituality, to your higher consciousness, uh, which is where that sort of prophetic uh, dream or <clears throat> pr prophetic you know, download can kind of come through for you. And then whatever that is, more than likely, you're going to be asked to do something with it in the physical, <clears throat> something to do with potentially building something or, um, you know, any of those things we talked about as far as power, status, money, resources, legal uh, situations, etc. So you might get some really deep insight onto something again, that has to do with your physical possessions or your um, how you sort of move through the material world that could come in this month as well. So a lot of focus, again, on power, status, resources, money, um, how you work with your money, how you manage your money, how you how you um, receive money, all of these things, your mindset around money. And it doesn't just have to be money. <clears throat> it can be around power or resources. Um, you also may find that you are put into a leadership role this month. And that leadership role is asking you to use your expertise in guiding another, right? In, in sharing your expertise, your wisdom to assist <clears throat> or help another in some way. Uh, that's very, very possible. So you might see some kind of um, promotion or something like that. Or if you start your own business, you might see an influx of clients uh, or people coming in that want your expertise. <clears throat> this is a great month to be able to share that and to find your confidence in how you share that. Um, because the expertise, the wisdom that you have, the world needs that. Someone needs that wisdom. So you might find this month that <clears throat> more people are coming in. So you might get clients that come in, a lot more clients. Or again, you might get some kind of promotion within your business that, <clears throat> or your job that helps you to share that wisdom and to be that expert and to share that expertise. So don't shy away from that if you have that opportunity to do that. Um <clears throat> So yeah, the other thing is the owl energy is asking you to focus your energy on something to sort of be very attentive and very, um, yeah, just like sort of laser focused on something, uh, which sort of goes against your sort of five energy of a sort of, and the eight energy of sort of a bigger a bigger vision, right? With eight energy, you're going to see the bigger vision and you're going to want to go towards it. The owl energy is asking you to focus that energy, like stay focused on whatever it is that you want to move towards. Just don't lose sight of the, the details, right? Hold the bigger vision and pay attention to the details to help get you there. Uh, if you can do that, this can be a really, really powerful month for you all. So I hope it's a great one. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.